through Grey's Anatomy. Tonight, 9, 8 central, only on ABC. Does that help? What would help is if you treated my daughter with the respect and consideration she deserves. Excuse me? Emily is obviously committed to you. She actually put her life on hold for weeks to help you find your son. Emily's commitment is what is what made the difference. Without her, I may not have found my son. I'm not sure what you mean. This is how you pay her back. Dr. Cornerman, I don't follow. Emily jumped back into this relationship with both feet, and you have given her no indication whatsoever of any kind of lasting commitment. I, I never thought that Emily and I would get a second chance. I don't want to ruin what we rebuilt by pushing in her something she's not ready for. There's plenty of time for us. What are you talking about? We're not even guaranteed tomorrow. I don't want my daughter to be... Oh, God, I can't breathe. Jesus, God. Alan. Alan. We, need to, we need some help in here, please. Open the door. Patrick doesn't need a new girlfriend. He's got you. Listen. I'm counting on the both of you to make sure that he has someone to take care of him. He deserves a good woman. I was so determined to avoid a commitment to hold on to my precious freedom. So what changed? I met Rob. For the first time in my life, I was able to let my guard down and be myself. Patrick doesn't trust very easily. He has, a, he has a lot of walls, and he'll make you work very hard <laughs> to break through them. In fact, now that I think about it, it's probably going to make the next woman miserable at first. Choose someone that deserves to suffer. <laughs> what about Carl? <laughs> Listen to me. Are you trying to decide between leaving and staying with Patrick or dying and handing him over to Carly? Please just choose life, okay? <laughs> okay. without her. Don't worry. Let's find a way to make sure Robin stays with both of us for a long time. You think you can read me? Perhaps you can. We're not so different. You think so, Mr. One? Oh, we're both driven to pursue money and power, willing to eliminate any obstacle in our way. You're nothing like Sonny. Carl, you don't say anything. Sonny's a good man, and he takes care of the people who are loyal to him. All you have are hired henchmen and a gun. You're nothing compared to Sonny. Wow. I've really seen such devotion in a spouse. Now tell me, are you as fond of your wife as she seems to be of you? I'll pay you to release her. You name the amount. Sonny? I will wire the, the money to your account the minute she walks out this building. Oh, come on. It wouldn't be fair to let you purchase your wife's freedom and deny the others the opportunity. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to decline your offer. Now, if you'd excuse me, I have to check on my other hostages. Thank you. Have fun. Going anywhere? Are you okay? Thanks to your devotion, Miss Proust. Yeah, well, he had a gun on you, and I haven't said anything to stop him from shooting you. So you didn't mean all those nice things you said about me. I meant them. Glad you still believe in me.
Want to get more moisture without all the weight? What you want? 